Growing up, I played a lot of baseball. That was my main sport. And I played multiple teams every year, it was uh, basically always in season, March through November. And my junior year of high school, our team was short of pitchers. And it wasn't the position I played really, but I was capable, so I pitched. And I didn't really stretch at all. And as you can imagine, I ended up hurting my shoulder. And I tried to play through the pain, but I knew I couldn't keep pitching. So I asked coach if I could be done with pitching and he put me in my primary position, which was catching. So as I'm catching, I'm realizing I really messed up my shoulder and I couldn't even throw the ball back to the pitcher. So fast forward though to the next day and my shoulder is really hurting. So I tell my dad, you know, I think I really messed up my shoulder and I, I get in to have a doctor look at it and they run some tests and they tell me that I tore my rotator cuff. So now I'm hearing this and I'm kind of like relieved. Like I pretty much embarrassed myself on the field. My shoulder hurts so bad. And now we know what the issue is. It's a tear, that's a big deal. So I'm relieved and I'm thinking this is great. Now I'll just, I'll have surgery. I'm, you know, I'm having this problem and now I'm going to get this big fix. So the doctor says that the best thing to do with this is to get this, it's to stretch. I'm supposed to stretch and that's going to fix it. Can I just say that I was not happy with that prescription. Like I wanted this miraculous big fix and this so-called doctor wants me to stretch. Now, how is it that something so basic and simple is actually going to work? And I've, I've been thinking about that story as we've been going through this series on foundations, this series that we've been going through, uh, things that are foundational in our faith. And a lot of them seem basic and maybe even overly simplified, but you know, making them a consistent part of our lives really works. I stretched every day for a couple months and it worked. James chapter four verses seven and eight tell us this, submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the enemy and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. I think if we spend time with God every day, if we root ourselves in these foundations that we've been going through, we will experience healing and restoration and life change.